Antonio Soreo. In an effort to fight crime in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, the Sheriff's Department has increased the hours of deputies and volunteer deputies. Since July 1st, residential burglaries have dropped up to 50 percent. Mayor Anthony Mizzetich sits down with Liz Brown Swanson and tells us more. Uh, when we've passed the budget, we also included provisions where we increased the number of hours where our Sheriff's Department is in our city. And uh, that was a plan that uh, Councilwoman Brooks and I on the Regional Law Subcommittee worked on with city staff. The council endorsed it and we approved it. That increased the man hours of the sheriff, Sheriff's Department between active sheriff deputies and sheriff volunteer deputies another 2,885 hours wow. in our city. What that has done, and now that was effective July 1st, since July 1st, I've gotten figures back from Captain Bolin in the Lamina Sheriff's Department where uh, crimes like residential burglaries right, and, which is and really other the burglaries. Right, which is that people are most thinking about right, is right, the burglary scene. Right, and that's scene. been the biggest concern of the council. Those crimes have, are, are decreasing. The figure is 50%. Right, I thought I, I heard, heard you mention 50%. that. That's huge. That, that is huge. That's residential burglaries. It's, it's decreasing 50%. Other burglaries, 14%. Larcenies, 25%. And vandalism, 33%. That's since July 1st, since we implemented these new programs. Now, we're not going to just sit on our laurels and say, oh, you know, pat ourselves on the back and what? say we're, we're satisfied with that. We're going to keep working with the Sheriff's Department to make sure that we keep our citizens safe and, and property protected. And you can see more with our mayor on RPV City Talk, which airs nightly at 9 p.m. And sad news to report, former mayor Tom Hollingsworth has died. He was 79 years old. Hollingsworth served on the RPV City Council from 1995 to 1999. Current Mayor Anthony Mizicic said Tom Hollingsworth was very well liked and he was an inspiration to many people in the way he conducted himself. He was a gentleman. Tom also left his mark permanently on the city of Rancho Palos Verdes when he designed the now familiar blue, white, and green city logo. Our condolences go out to his family and friends. There will be a special remembrance for the former mayor at the October 2nd city council meeting. Car enthusiasts gathered at Trump National Golf Club to celebrate their love for the most prestigious cars on the planet. It's an annual event that brings out our residents in droves.
and it was a sight to see over Southern California as the Space Shuttle Endeavour took its final journey to its new home. The Shuttle Endeavour was flown on top of a 747 and many residents right here in Rancho Palos Verdes had a chance to see the flight. Residents living in Seaview reported the shuttle flew so low over their homes it looked like it was going to land in Rolling Hills. The shuttle landed in Los Angeles where it will be on display for all to see at the California Science Center. And when we come back, some local women make history at the California Women's Conference. And he may be in high school, but this student is ahead of the race. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Hi, I'm Judy Shepard Missit, founder and CEO of Jazzercise. Join us for Jazz Cardio Strength Stretch. Each half hour program combines cardio, strength, and stretch routines for a total body workout and tips on health, nutrition, or exercise. Thousands of people have tuned in to Jazz Cardio Strength Stretch, and we hope you will too. And history was in the making at the California Women's Conference. Thousands of women, including many from the peninsula, gathered at the annual event in Long Beach. The conference focused on the influence women have on the economy. It's estimated that women are responsible for 85% of all consumer purchases from autos to health care. Liz Brown Swanson attended the event and brings us more. Liz. That's right, Maria. Believe it or not, statistics are showing that women are spending nearly $5 trillion annually. And I know from some of our shopping sprees, Maria, we account for some of that. But the theme here at this two-day women's conference is that the women's economy starts here. Let's check it out. The theme this year is the women's economy starts here. The conference is bringing on the history of 27 years of the California Women's Conference. It is no longer affiliated with the governor's office, so this is done by a private entity, and that entity is event complete. And we are making history by bringing back the California Women's Conference this year. We had more than 150 speakers, which has never been done before, under one roof over two days. My name is Liz Griggs, and I'm the general manager at the Promenade on the Peninsula. It was important for me to come here because because it's a time where women get to support women in their efforts and what we're trying to do in our lives. And um, there's just so many powerful women here in, in our own ways. Women are powerful because we're mothers, we're teachers, we're employees, we're leaders in our community. And I think that working together with other women and being able to share ideas on how to remain positive and uh, ideas and taking different approaches and how to do things more efficiently and effectively and maybe looking at things differently than maybe how we do it normally and um, they've had some great speakers here and it's just a good reminder that in our own way we make a difference in people's lives. Well, I've been in business for over 25 years. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Um, I started my business where we designed glass artwork. They all did a symbol of breaking the glass ceiling and got them on many prominent women around the country and the pins have been featured in the Smithsonian. Um, but that's one of my businesses and then I started a consulting firm. This conference here is a great way to introduce women to small business as well as the women business owners that are here help them to get resources and grow their businesses. This book uh, really grew out of our love of entrepreneurship. Patty's an entrepreneur and I'm a former entrepreneur educator and so it, when we came together for our, our love of entrepreneurship and working with women and wanting to empower and inspire them with the life lessons of successful women. Many of the women in the book are entrepreneurs or they head up nonprofit organizations like the CEO of Habitat for Humanity or Linda Loray, who was an executive with Giorgio or the CEO of Fredericks of Hollywood. Uh, we have philanthropists and um, social entrepreneurs, business women, Tracy Austin. Here you are, Terranair is one of the sponsors of the Women's Conference. How is it going, Gay? 
Well, we're very excited to be here. It's our first time to sponsor such a large event in Long Beach. So it's all new and we're looking forward to learning as we go, but we've already had a great response. People are coming up and saying they know us or they've heard of us and they want to come see us. So we're here representing the spa essentially today because it's the perfect medium for women. This is about how do we collaborate and pull together and work together? We are what? We are better together. Woo! Certainly this two-day women's conference has been incredibly empowering and while it has been here for two days, organizers say this is something that will carry on with women 365 days a year.